Arch Obler bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. And once again, we caution you. These Lights Out stories are definitely not for the timid soul. So we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. Oh, what time is it? Ten minutes more. Gee, it's been a long day, hasn't it? I'll say so. If I never see another script or typewriter, it'll be too soon. <laughs> you were the one who wanted to get into radio. Radio. Sitting at a typewriter eight hours a day, making stencils. You were the one who said it'd be a shortcut. Some director'd walk into the script department, see you behind that typewriter, and say, Where have you been all my life? Mary, stop it, will you? You think you're so cute. I don't see anyone Girl. whining. Bernice, Mary. After all, this is a place of business. Yes, ma'am. I don't like to be the disciplinarian, but this is the third time that I've found you quarreling with each other rather than working. We weren't quarreling. Perhaps not, but it sounded like it. You're setting a very unfortunate example for the other girls. I'm going to ask both of you a simple question. Do you or do you not want to continue working here? Oh, we do. Yes, of course we do. Very well. No more of this nonsense, then. There's a script that must be mimeographed first thing tomorrow morning, so the stencils will have to be out tonight. It shouldn't take you long. What's the matter with you girls? Have you any objections to working late tonight? Oh, no. no I'd love it. Very well. All right. The rest of you girls, time to go home. Yes, I'd love to stay over time if I could type over her dead body. Hush, hush. She'll hear you. Here's the script, girls. Twenty pages. Divide it up between yourselves. Yes, ma'am? When you're through, leave the stencils on my desk and lock the door behind you. Yes, ma'am? Well, good night. Don't forget to turn out the lights as you go. Yes, ma'am. All right, girls. Let's get out of here quickly so that Bernice and Mary can finish their work. Of all the knock need black beard, long neck, pot heels. Oh, oh, stop it, will you? Let's oh. type the darn thing off and get out of here. <sighs> well, what do you know? What's the matter? Look at the script we're supposed to type. Lights out. <laughs> One of those things. Yeah. So what? I. I don't like to type them. They scare me. Are you kidding? Typing's typing, no matter what you're typing. Not if it's one of those lights out plays. Blood and people dying and murderers and worms. Ooh, Forget it. Just words on paper. Uh, it scares me. Mm, type with your eyes closed. Oh. You listen to this. Note to the sound department. At this point in the play, I want the sound of a body being turned inside out. I suggest the use of a wet rubber glove to plant the picture of a human being being deliberately turned. Oh, stop it, will you? <laughs> It's only a sound effect. I was just reading. Well, will you type your script and let me type this? Don't go reading any of it out loud. All right, all right. I wonder what kind of a screwball he is. Who? The fellow who writes these plays, you know. Arch Oberlin? Yeah. Oh, I like him. Well, what are you talking about? You never even met him. Well, I like him anyway. But you just finished saying you don't like this. Well, I like his other plays. You know, the ones he does for the government? With sense to them. Well, personally, I think he's a wolf. Oh, what are you talking about? You know, one of these werewolves. I bet he eats his young. Well, don't talk like that. He's got a ten-month-old baby. I saw a picture of it. That's real cute. Well, I still think... Well, for heaven's sake, just because the man writes fantastic doesn't mean he's fantastic. Well, you look who's talking. Why, you're even afraid to type him. What are you afraid of, that the ghost will pop out of the pages and turn you inside out? Oh, stop it, will you? If you don't stop it... All right, all right, let's type. Well, how do you like that? What's the matter now? My typewriter's jammed. Can't move a key. B. What's the matter with you? Mine is too. <laughs> My typewriter is too. Like the fellow said, say le guerre. Everything's falling apart. Suppose we'll have to use one of the other machines. And just when I was getting comfortable. I'll use Anita. Yeah, I'm going to use Evelyn's. She won't care what I do with it. She's going to be a wave anyway. Mary, this one's jammed too. Yeah, so is Evelyn. Oh, try Elle's machine. She's always boasting about how fast it is. Why, well, it's jammed too. Well, so is this one. Well, what do you know? What is it, the typewriter gremlins? Mary, what's the matter? 
your face. Let's get out of here. What's the matter? Let's get out of here. We've got overtime. I tell you, let's go home. Well, just because a typewriter jams up is no reason to have a fit. Well, I'm getting out of here, and you better come with me. You're crazy running out. What's come over you? What? Bernie, what's the matter with you now? What are you standing at the door with your back to me for? Say you're going. Please, come here quick. Oh, for Pete's sake. What's the matter with you? Why are you standing there for with your hand on the knob? It's locked. What? Locked. Locked. Oh, you are crazy. Huh. Let me add it. Let me try. Why is it locked? Because some screwball janitor thought everybody would left and locked the door, that's all. Say, somebody out there. Let us out of here. We're locked in. Hey! It, it won't do any good. That's what you say. I'll wake the dead. Hey! Are you deep or deaf or whatever it is? Somebody get a key and let us out. Hey, we're not slave labor. Let us out. What's the matter with me? Where are you going? All I've got to do is pick up the telephone and call communications. They'll get us out of here. Oh, yes. Call them right away. Tell them we're locked. All right. I'm calling them. Hello. Hello. Answer me. What's the matter? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, stop that. The operator thought we'd all gone home, so she disconnected the wire. That's all. Oh, Oh, for Pete's sake, of all the nincompoops, what is there to cry about? I'm afraid. So you're afraid, so I'm queen of the May and there are roses in the air. What is this all about? What's all the hysteria? You don't understand. I'll say I don't. You stop crying. No, something terrible is going to happen. What are you talking about? We're in the script department of a broadcasting company, remember? Well, something jammed the typewriters. Something locked the door. Something... What do you mean, something? Something, I tell you. I, know, I tell you, you're crazy. I think I've known you all these weeks and never knew you had bapped in your belfry. There's absolutely nothing that's happened. Why did you stop talking? Answer me. The telephone cord. Oh. The end, it's torn off. Yes. But I... I talked on this telephone only an hour ago, remember? Yes. I could have gotten torn loose. I told you. Oh, shut up. All right, maybe there is something screwy. I don't know. But I do know there's nothing to get hysterical about. <laughs> This place only had windows I could call out <laughs> on modernistic air conditioning. <laughs> Will you stop moaning? Well, you're scared, too. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Series of coincidences, that's all. <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> Answer me what? Who ever heard of anything happening in a place like this? Well, what are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> this is no haunted house. You and me and a lot of other girls work here, remember? So if we're locked in and have to stay here all night, so what? The door's locked from the outside. The watchman downstairs, remember? So who could get in here to hurt us? What if the locked door won't do any good? What? You heard me. Oh, you're a crazy kid. Look, desks and chairs, fluorescent light, modern design, remember? We're not in a haunted house. Get that through your head. We're not in a haunted house. Oh. Well, what's the matter now? Get all through explaining. What's the matter? Something happened. Happened? Something... In the air. What are you... Oh, for heaven. Over there at the end of the room. The light must have burned out. Oh. Oh, it's right. Goes to show you how crazy you've been. A couple of natural things happen and you start acting out a ghost story. You should join the actors' union. Bernice. Oh, one of the lights burned out. So what? There's one thing the script department's got. Plenty of light. Mary, why are you... Another light. I saw it go out. Are you dreaming? I tell you, I saw it go out. You're crazy, it did I saw it. Now, look here. There are... Two, four, six, eight. Eight lights in this place. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, don't give me any more of that lights out. Another. Uh, Another. You're absolutely crazy. I'm scared just staying here with you. Count them. Why should I? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not eight. Seven. Gee. I told you. Oh, no. What? Another one out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Stop it, stop it. Another one there. Gosh. Over next to Miss Winton's desk, another one. What? Only four left, only four. What'll we do? Only four? Who's putting them out? I don't know, I don't... Another... Oh. Only three more. If they go out, I'll die. They won't go out. They can't go out. The switch. That's it, I'll hold the switch. I won't turn out the lights if I hold the switch. It's all right, Mary. See, I got hold of the switch. Nothing Another could... one. Another one. But I was holding onto the switch. Two lights. Two lights and then dark. Bernice. Oh, Bernice, hold me. I'm scared. Oh, gee, I'm scared. 
It's all right. They're still two lights. Please. Two lights. They'll stay on. They will. I know they will. They're both out. We're in the dark. Bernice, where are you? Let me out of here. I'm afraid of the dark. Let me out of here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's bad enough without you driving me crazy. What's the good of your crying? There's a reason there must be for this. Everything's got a reason. I know it. I know it. I can't stand it. I can't. You can't. Those blackout candles. Stop crying and let me think. Miss Winton had some blackout candles in her desk. I know she did. Oh, don't leave me alone. Don't leave me in the dark, Bernice. Will you stop it? I found them. Candles. Matches. There. Three candles like this one. And this one. See? Plenty of light now. Who's there? Nobody. Nobody. There's a reason for everything, I tell you. I know what it is. What? The electricians, that's it. The electricians didn't know we were up here and they were testing the lights. They'll go on any minute. Wait and see. You think so? Of course. Look, what did I tell you? <laughs> there they go on again. Look at the ceiling. Oh, oh no. Green. The light now is green. Green. All the lights. Green. You lied to me. You said it was the electrician. Look at the light. It's green. It makes your face look green. You look dead. You hear me? Dead. You'll be dead and I'll be dead. We'll be dead. 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 Stop it. Stop it. You're not going to drive me crazy. Just because there's something wrong with the electricity. You look around. Everything's all right. Nothing's wrong here. Nothing. Is that typing? I heard typing. So did I. Typing? We just must. I've imagined. Ah! Typewriter. Look at the typewriter. Typing. And there's no one. Who's typing? Who's typing? I... I... I'm so tired. Me too. I wonder if it's day. I don't know. I don't think so. Sooner or later, someone will come along. It'll be too late. Don't say that. Nothing's happened these last hours, has it? Nothing. It will. When I get out of here, I never want to talk to you as long as I live. As long as you live. Stop talking like that, or do I have to... Don't hurt me. I'm not hurting you. No one's going to hurt you. Or me. Trick. It's some kind of a trick. The typewriters. Electric ones, aren't they? Power. Something. It's got to be a trick. You don't believe it, do you? Believe what? There's something in this room with us. Where? I don't know. But it's here. What are you trying to do? Make me scared as you are scared? There's something in this room. Where? Answer me where. Just you and me, that's all. You're not going to scare me. I'm not going to let myself get scared anymore. I want to get out of here, and I'm going to get out of here. My head's gone. I heard it, too. What? Something. Desk. Look. The desk. Moving. Look. That one moved. And that one. Mary, take your hands away from your eyes and look. Look, the desk. All of them. Moving. Yeah. 
scared now. Aren't you? Right. I am. I am. I'm not. <laughs> not scared? You? No. It's very nice. What's very nice? You know. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You know. I don't know. Tell me. So warm. What's warm? The sun. So warm. Sitting in the sun. What? Nice when the sun is warm, isn't it? I always wanted to sit in the sun. Oh, no. You can sit in the sun if you want to, Bernice. It's all right. Mary, Mary. You don't have to shout. We'll go home soon. Soon as the sun goes down. We'll go home. Oh, Mary. I was scared before. Wonderful the way it is now. Out here in the sun. There's no reason to be scared when you're sitting in the sun. Oh, Mary, I'd rather you be afraid, you hear me? I'd rather you be afraid. No. The sun. There is no sun. We're right here where we were in the office. And the light is still green and the desks are moved all in around us. And we can't get out. Mary, be scared. Please stop looking at me the way you are and be scared. You say we're not sitting in the sun? No, no. You must be crazy, Bernice. Because we are sitting in the sun. Are you crazy, Bernice? All right. If that's what you want. We are sitting in the sun, dear. I knew it. I used to be so scared. You now were... I'm all right. You were right before. When you said there was someone in the room. There is. I can't see anyone. But there is. Someone. The sun is so nice. First the typewriters. And then the lights. And then the moving desk. And now waiting. Who's waiting? It's waiting. Will we go home soon? Yes. When? Soon. I think very soon. I was very scared. Yes. When you get scared enough, you can't get scared anymore. Mm, the sun is very nice. I think I'm getting that scared now myself. You hear something? What? Something? There's nothing, nothing. No, there is something. I told you. Listen to me. Who's here with us? Who? Answer me. What do you want of us? Please answer me. What do you want of us? I will come. I will sleep. Like Mary's asleep. When you sleep, you don't think. I'm not going to think anymore. If I think about it, get like Mary is. No one will think. Sit here till the morning with my eyes shut. And when it's morning, they'll get here. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. My eyes closed. Green light still shines through my lids. How could green light turn with... No, stop thinking. Gotta stop thinking. Green light through my lids. <laughs> Go. No light. Open my eyes. <gasps> Dark. The lights are gone. <laughs> Dark again. Mary. Mary, wake up. Mary, the light. Please wake up. I'm not asleep. Oh. I thought. Sun is very nice. Isn't it?
The sun? You still think... Mary, don't you know? Can't you see we're sitting in the dark? Dark? Stay close to me. If they'd only come. I know. He'll be here soon. Who? In the dark. He'll be here. Who are you talking about? Who? Any minute now. Do you hear him? Hear? I think he's coming now. Yes. He is. No, please, no. You're right. It is dark. Very dark. Is kind of dark. Stop talking like that. You can stop him. No one can stop him. What's the use of being afraid? If someone had only come. I've been telling you. Someone is coming. Right now. And he's sitting on the desk looking at it. I'm glad he's here. He'll make my head stop hurting. He'll take me home. The floor. It's lifting. Yes. I feel it. The room. It's turning. Stop it. Stop turning the room. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. A total of 15 Axis planes shot down in the Mediterranean theater of war. So much for the war news. Now the news of local interest to you early morning listeners. If you've been wondering why those dishes in the kitchen that started to dance last night, the answer is an earth trembler, earthquake to you of five seconds duration. The material damage was very slight, but two deaths are indirectly attributed to the earthquake. Bernice Saxton and Mirabelle Pressler, employed by the broadcasting company, were found dead this morning in the script department where they've been doing overtime work. Cause of the death is believed to have been heart failure induced by fright. The girls have been accidentally locked in the office, and when there was a failure of electric power followed by earthquake, it is believed the young women were frightened to death. This concludes our morning broadcast. Ionized Yeast presents Lights Out. <laughs>